to the fourth game of exhibition play for the Portage College Voyagers. Here tonight to play them are the Concordia Thunder. Uh, hometown boy Adam McGrabby, also from Lac La in town, to play his hometown team. Uh, looks like we've got a good matchup here tonight. Uh, both teams don't really know what to expect out of each other yet. They haven't played each other yet, but uh, yeah, uh, Portage has had an up and down exhibition season so far. They won their first game. They've dropped their last two, uh, most notably to Augustana, who by all accounts is going to be a really great team this year. Well, you know what, Luke? Uh, it is preseason, though. I don't think you can really put all your eggs into one basket with these games. It's all about figuring out the new line combinations. And I'm looking down this Concordia Thunder roster here, and there's maybe two names I remember from last year. And they had some great battles, of course, with Adam McGrabby coming back, hometown kid. Hometown kids always do great in this rink, especially against the Voyagers for some reason. But uh, you, you can't just say, well, you know what, preseason we kind of suck. Does that mean their season's going to suck? No. You never know what's going to happen. you got to find those right combinations, hopefully get through some of those injuries and other things. And uh, once the puck drops for the regular season, that's when the real work actually comes down to it. Yeah, and that's why you play exhibition games, right? You don't want to just jump right into it and, yeah. uh, you know, fall a few games back without getting your legs underneath you. But last game, uh, Portage College did go up against the Augustana Vikings, who by all accounts, uh, are going to be one of the top teams in the league this year. And they didn't fare so well. They lost 5-1, to one, lost a couple guys to injuries. Uh, had, had a decent start by, uh, if you listen to Arnie Kaplan, so they had a good start, had some opportunities, couldn't capitalize, and it kind of hurt them for the rest of the game. So you're going to want to look for them to come out here early and actually capitalize on those opportunities because it could hurt you in the long run if you don't. Well, that's the thing. You get to come and play at home to which will help, you know, being on the road again for the season. The Voyagers... Like, that's always been an issue in the past seasons. But what seems like Coach Kaplan, even, you know, last year, he really started on his guys. Like, when you hit that ice for that first 20 minutes, you go like it's going to be the last five seconds of the game the entire time. So, you know, right now, who knows how it's going to start. But I'm assuming that's going to be the uh, focal point for the season, right? You hit the ground run. Yep. And uh, we had a chance to speak with Arnie Kaplan here earlier in the week, live on the air on Big Dog 103.5. Uh, asked him his opinion on the last game uh, against Augustana, so here's what he had to say about that. It was one of those games where we wanted to uh, go in and do our best and see see what see what would happen, and uh, we had some really, really good chances early in the hockey game, but throughout the game, really. Uh, their goaltending was really, really on the ball, and we couldn't capitalize, and then we got behind a couple, and uh, I don't want to say it snowballed. I thought our third period was better. We got into a little bit of penalty trouble in the third period, but we played a better third period, but um, we uh, we dropped it 5-1, but again, if we would have capitalized on some of those chances, it would have been uh, it would have been a, a totally different story. So that was Arnie Kaplan's take uh, on their last game there against Augustana. Now, one thing he also did mention is that you know you want to get your legs under you in the in the exhibitions in the exhibition season, but uh, you know bad luck can happen sometimes too in the exhibition season and. Portage College Voyagers have already got hit by the injury bug, and Puck hasn't even dropped in the regular season yet. Yeah, it's crazy how that always, always seems to be an issue, you know. Uh, it's, it's, it's one of those things. It's part of the game. It's part of any game you play. Heck, you could be playing chess, you could break a nail, you can't play the next game, right? So it's it's something you have to take in stride, but it's tough to know that. But I know talking to you earlier and listening to Arnie's week, they're going with a big roster this year, so they have that room. It's not like you've got 22 guys, they have two guys going down, you're playing with 18 players, so it sucks to have injuries, but they have that lead over, right? Of course, yeah. Not just injuries either. Sickness also has been a little bit of a yeah. trouble. A couple guys come up with the flu. And also, uh, just, you know, they're students first, right? Sometimes class gets in the way. A couple power engineering students are out on placement. Uh, so, you know, going to have to work with a little bit of a short bench here, but uh, they hopefully can pull through it. Uh, here's what uh, Arnie Kaplan had to say about the injuries plaguing the team right now. Well, the, the biggest frustration would be the injuries again. We're, we're dropping guys. We had a little bit of this. We've had two guys lost due to, you know, the flu bug, um, that type of thing, strep throat. And then we've had injuries just starting to pile up again. Uh, we've got groins. We've got hips. We've got backs. We've got... One of our guys took a, took a headshot last night. Um, we've got a knee injury. We've got another knee injury. So, I mean, it just it just keeps kind of compounding right now, and it seems like it's like this every year. And I don't know whether it's the level of conditioning that guys come in with. I, I'm not really sure. It, it just seems to happen every year. And, and this is the, the worst time of the year 
so right now I don't know I don't know how many skaters we're gonna have for uh, for the weekend coming up here against Concordia. It's, it's it's very frustrating when you're trying to prepare for the season and get ready and you, you're not able to evaluate and, and use a lot of these guys. So uh, I don't know where we'll be. So that's Coach Kaplan's take on uh, how the team is doing with injuries right now. And, of course, we've got the Concordia Thunder here uh, here tonight to play the Portage College Voyagers. Bit of a mixed bag against this team last season. Uh, hometown boy Adam McGrady made them look a little silly in their first matchup, scored a hat trick on them. But it seems as though they have a lot of new players this year. So it's a whole new look team, just like for the Voyagers. Concordia's got plenty of new players on the roster. Yeah, it's always a thing with uh, especially collegiate hockey in the ACC. You see that turnover of guys with one or two years moving on to other programs, whether it be university or just, you know, into the trade. So you see the different players. But the thing about this Concordia team is they always play well in the spring. And I don't know if it has to do with the fact that a couple seasons ago there was a guy by the name of Matt Rogers, another local native here. He would only score points, I swear, when he came up and played either in Old Centennial or at the Bowl Center. You light him up, half his points would come from those, you know, three-game set. I had him grab you last year, you know, in front of his family, tons of family to chin him on. It was awesome to hear that little section. Of course, he scores a hat trick. We won the game, though, if I do remember correctly, I believe in overtime. But still, yeah, it's it's crazy to see, you know, the kind of rivalries that are built just off of those players and these teams. And uh, with the earlier season playoff battles with the Thunder, it's it's going to be a heated game even with the new season. And, and you can never expect anything except, like, the best from the Thunder. Yeah, and uh, Coach Kaplan, not, sure, not quite sure what to expect from this Concordia Thunder team. Here's what he had to say. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, they they got a lot of new players. I know they, they battled uh, the Kewen, um in a tight game um, last weekend after after we saw the Kewen. We played them, so I think they're going to be competitive. They're going to be tough. They're going to be a lot of guys battling for uh, you know for positions in that lineup. They they got a lot of guys with a lot to prove. So I think they're going to be uh, they're going to be hungry for sure. Now we got teams taken to the ice here, going for a little skate before O Canada. So we're going to send it back to the studio here with Scott Mitchell for a few minutes, and we'll be back with you in a minute or two for a puck drop. Portage College Boys. Previously on the Dogs Breakfast with Scott and Luke. Breakfast with Scott and Luke every weekday from 6. Playing all kinds of stuff. Start your morning with a laugh. Last night in late night. Recapping what you missed in late night TV. Weekday mornings around 6.40 on Big Dog 103.5. For all your Portage Voyager updates, listen to the Dog's Breakfast each and every weekday morning. Now, back to live play-by-play -play on Big Dog 103.5. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Bolt Center. We've got action here between the Portage College Voyagers and the Concordia Thunder. My name's Luke Muse, standing next to me here is Lee Steele. We're going to be calling the game for you here tonight. Puck's about to drop here. We've got starting lineups for Portage College Voyagers. We've got Murdoch, Cardinal, Sims, Groom, and Barrett. Starting in goals, Nathan Warren. 
I'm little, excited for it, man. Yeah, a little bit of a delay here and at the start. Uh, anyone looking to stream the game, they can catch it on YouTube. The link is on the Big Dog 1035 Facebook page. Click that to get the visuals as well. Uh, it looks awesome so far. Uh, cameraman Harley was showing me some of the few uh, tricks he's got going there, and it, yeah. it looks deadly. Check it out. We've got puck drop here, and Concordia takes control, dumps it into the Portage College End. They're in on the heart. Murdoch takes control. He rims it around the boards for Groom. Room pokes it up towards Cardinal. Cardinal tries to get it out, but he can't stop at the blue line. Up on the right side here in the Portage College Blazers end. Battle for it along the boards here. Puck squirts out, gets shot in. Warren turns that away easily. Poked up the boards here by Groom. Cardinal manages to smack it out. Now he's on the chase. Down in the Concordia Thunder end. They take it and they group. They regroup. They're headed back up the neutral zone. Puck squirts in. Shot towards Warren. That goes wide. Portage College whiffs on the pass there, and now it gets turned over. It's in behind the Portage net. Concordia tries to throw it out in front, but that's broken up. Cardinal on board along the boards. Nice hit there. Murdoch takes it and rims it around. Groom takes control. He's skating up the ice now, slowly. Up towards the blue line. Makes a little move there and dumps it in. Now it's in Concordia's end. Portage on the attack. Actually, they're off on a change. Concordia try to work it out of their zone, but Portage steals it away. It's worked out by Bangura. That pass misses everyone, goes all the way down the ice. We're going to have our first whistle of the game here, icing against Portage College. Right off the hop, uh, Concordia showed off a little bit of their cycle game. Uh, that was something that's always really stood out for them is the, the download cycle. Voyagers like this longer breakout pass. We'll see if that's changed with this season. If you're tuning in just on radio, uh, Portage College are headed left to right. Concordia is headed right to left, just to give you a little bit of a visual aid there. Concordia wins the draw to Warren's left, and they take control. Turned over there by Concordia, now Parker moves it up. Battle for it here in the neutral zone, no team really has control, Portage takes it. Offside's waved off, Jarvis is in towards the top of the circle on the left side, he just is forced to dump it in. Parker takes control behind the net. That's worked over for Beaton. Beaton's got it in along the boards. His pass misses Bangora, and now it's headed back the other way. Bangora coming back for it, uses the body to guard the puck. Portage College with it in behind their own set and net. That dunk goes out towards the blue line, though it's intercepted by Concordia. That shot comes in, high and wide, all the way to the other end boards now. Portage takes control along the left, the left side boards. Battle for it to work at three. It squirts loose, and now Portage is on the attack. They're moving forward. Up towards the left side is Jesse Parker. He makes a quick move. Pass out the front. Glorious opportunity there. Couldn't quite convert, though. Looked for the cross-ice pass, it just went off the tip of the stick and they couldn't quite convert, now Concordia set it up the other way. That place turned away by Stephenson at the Voyager's zone. Now Johnstone with it, controlling, passes it over to Stephenson, Stephenson back for Barrett. Barrett moving up slowly, hits Johnstone. Johnstone in neutral zone with a nice move there, totally breaks his ankles. Made him look foolish on that one. Well, Carson's, Johnstone's a big man, but he uh, showed some dangles there. Concordia takes control in their own zone now. They're working up through the neutral zone. They dump it in. Warren comes out to play it. He just leaves it there. A little bit of a miscommunication there. Looks like no harm done. A little bit of a turnover there, though. Concordia with it. Then the Voyager's zone. Battle for it along in the corner. Concordia dumps it in behind the net. And they win the race of the puck on the far side. Concordia's still with it now. Good pressure here from them. They're cycling it back down to the corner. Still with the puck. Portage trying to get it away from them. They managed to poke it loose, but still anyone's puck right now. Puck comes up towards Johnstone. He tries to get it out, but fails. Concordia's still with it. Gus fired in towards the net. Easy save there for Warren. Steers it into the corner. Desperate play there. Just dumps it out. Concordia's going to have a chance to regroup here, and Portage gets on a change. Nice play there by Gary Mendes to take the puck away from Voyageurs, and now they've got a little bit of pressure going in the Concordia zone. Puck's still in behind the net. Jarvis with it, tries to move it back to the point, but that gets poked out by Concordia. Portage is going to have to regroup here. Campbell with it now. Campbell moves it up for Jarvis. Jarvis tries to work his way into the zone, but he's turned away. Jumped in there by Tanner Quinn. And he goes in with a nice hit there to knock, knock the puck loose. Portage keeps it in. That puck a little too far for Quinn, though. Concordia takes control now. They're working their way up the, out into the neutral zone. Get across the board to the blue line. Quick shot there, just wide. Portage takes control now. Murdoch dumps it up and out of the zone. Icing waved off by the linesman. Partial change here for the Voyageurs. The Thunder looking to regroup here. Thunder shoot it out into the neutral zone, and they poke it into the Voyageurs' end. Now they're on the attack. 
Mert up with a nice play to use the body there, knock him off the puck. Shot from the point there, stopped by Warren. Takes a check behind himself, but it was a nice job there to clear by the defense. Jumps all the way in. Knocked down there. Portage with a little bit of an opportunity here. Taking some time to set up. Out towards the blue line. Now Stephenson with the puck. He fires it in. Easy save there for the goaltender. Well, a lot of uh, action going back and forth between Portage and Concordia. Uh, right off the hop, I see the boys are struggling a little bit with the communication roles. But that's going to be something that they're going to work out those things over the preseason. And uh, you'll start seeing those passes look a lot better. That's what the preseason's for, about five minutes in. Concordia wins that draw. It's over teams, right? A little bit of a scramble for it here at the Thunder Blue Line. Portage manages to keep it in. Barrett hard on the puck now. Try to work that puck out to the slot. Falls on a Concordia stick, and now they're gone the other way. Moving up the left side now is the Thunder. Nice hit there by Stephenson to knock the puck loose, but Concordia still with it. That shot is blocked by Durwell. Durwell's headed the opposite way now. He moves it in to the slot. That hits a stick and goes way in on Dobertin, who covers up. Smart play there by him. Got a little bit of jawing now in front of the Concordia Thunder net. I mean, it's only preseason. You might as well have a couple conversations, you know. Do a little uh, couple trips around the net, talk to people, see what's going on. Anyone who tuned into the exhibition home opener against uh, Grant McEwen, uh, there's plenty of jawing and plenty of sticks in that game. No love there. Oh, no, that's the beauty of this ACAC. Small league and everybody doesn't like each other. Draw there to Dobertin's right. Concordia wins that. They rim it around the boards, but that's intercepted by Campbell. He fires it in towards the net. That hits a body in front in the slot. Turned over there by the Thunder, and they just shoot it up over the glass. That's going to be a face-off inside the zone to Dover team's left. Shorter glass here too, right? Or am I wrong? Always getting mixed up. Uh, it's pretty easy to shoot it out of the glass yeah, here. I guess so. Speaking from personal experience. <laughs> That draws one again by the Thunder, who regroup behind their own net. Looking to come out of their zone with some speed. Now they're up through the neutral zone. That passes in the feet. Now Smith takes control. He fires that up towards no one, but luckily someone was there to pick it up. That was Johnstone. He turns it over, though, and now the Thunder are in. Little odd man rush here. Close in play. Nice right pad save there by Warren. Smith with a little hit on Backy there. King Forty still with the puck. Battle for it here in the corner. Barrett with control. He's getting shoved around here. He's getting no support right now. Jarvis comes in, takes the puck for him, though. And now the Portage Calls Voyagers are going to work their way up to neutral zone. That puck shot out for Adam Smith. Adam Smith coming in. He takes a shot right into the breadbasket there. No problem for Dobertine. Going to have another faceoff here. Well, it looks like we're going to get offsetting minors here. I think those guys are just reminding each other that uh, they did play a couple games with each other last season. Um, it's going to be just Smith actually yeah. headed to the box. So, Concordia going to head to the power play here. Penalty after the whistle. I think that was because of the, the incident between uh, Chance, uh, sorry, not Chance, uh, Riley Rimmer and Orson Barrett. Uh, they played each other last season, and it's nice to see a new guy stepping up for his teammate Barrett, who's a bit of a veteran on the team. Going to have to kill off penalty now, though. We're about six minutes into the first period here, scoreless still. He's been given a 10-minute misconduct. Not exactly sure why. Must have been something he said. Gary Min just coming over to serve the two minutes. But Adam Smith is going to be serving a 10-minute misconduct. That draws one by the Portage College Voyager's Murdoch. Makes a smart play and just dumps it all the way down the ice. Good start to the penalty kill here for the Portage College Voyageurs. Dobertine makes a play there to his defenseman. A little bit of an error pass there by the Concordia Thunder. Doesn't allow them to come to the zone with speed. They're forced to dump it in. Murdoch once again with the clear all the way down the ice. And Dobertine is forced to go out and play it again. Durwell in on Dobertine. He makes a dangerous play here in front of the net. Almost gives... Durwell, a perfect opportunity to capitalize, but he escapes. And now the Concordia Thunder in the Portage College zone. Slap shot here from the point, hits a stick, and goes up over the glass, and we're going to have a face-off, looks like, inside the zone. So, Luke, you're a goaltender. Yeah. What you have ever done, the Dover team did right there. That was an unorthodox play, to say the very least. Usually those end up in the back of your own net. He got lucky that time. Looked like he panicked a little bit there. Luckily for him, though, 
Unluckily for the Voyageurs, he did manage to regain control. Yep. Portage does win that draw to Warren's right, and they dump it all the way in on Dobertine, who makes a faster play this time to get it out of, the, out of his crease. Concordia now with another Aaron pass into the neutral zone, but they do pick it up, and now they're coming into the zone with speed up the left side. Dump it a little further on the rim play here, and they still have control. Portage hard on the puck here, trying to work it away from the Thunder. Thunder have it at the point now. Working a few passes here, now it's down low. Working up towards the blue line now. Now it's going back in down low, down in the corner. Cycle game here for the Thunder. They work it back up towards the point. Quick shot there. Easy save for Warren. Don't think he saw it, but he just had the big body there in front of it. It hits him and there's no rebound. I'll bring up Warren this time. Again, you being goaltender, Warren, he seems like a butterfly type guy. Yeah. What more can you tell me a little him? Uh, looks like he's got a big body there in net. Uh, from what I've seen so far, he, he moves well in the net, and uh, we'll just have to wait and see what else we see from him here. Thunder win that draw. Portos tries to poke it away, but they're unsuccessful. Now the puck squirts out into the slot, hops over a stick of the Thunder player, and now Parker's got the puck working up the zone. He's just going to dump it in for the Voyagers. About 30 seconds left here on the penalty kill. Smith, Smith's in for 10-minute uh, misconduct. Not quite sure why he got the misconduct. Could have been something he said, could have been something he'd done. And now Parker takes the puck away. Sims is working his way up into the zone. 2 on 0 here. Tried to work it across for the cross ice play. Couldn't quite get it though, and now Concordia Thunder working their way up into the Portage College zone. Portage all over them, they'll force the turnover. Bangor is just going to take the easy play and dump that out, and that will do it. We're back at even strength. Good first kill there for the Portage College Voyageurs. Yeah, they showed some uh, smarts there, getting on the puck quickly and uh, clearing it, taking the chance from the ad. Concordia Thunder with it in their own zone now. Can't quite seem to get anything going now. And Jarvis is looking to force the turnover here. Concordia still with it, battling for it in, in the zone. Portage turns it over. And that is going to be an easy bluff save for Connor Doberthien. Well, after that penalty kill, uh, you know, both teams still not getting any sustained pressure. Interesting to see which team cracks first or which team actually breaks out first, even to uh, really start peppering the other team for the jobs. Yeah, no real great chances here yet, uh, other than a couple missed opportunities. And now Portage College is going that draw. Stephenson fires it in, but that goes wide to the left side. That puck gets stuck on the back of the net, and it's going to get blown down. Well, Stephenson, he's a returning player as well, and uh, he'll have to step up his game as a veteran. There does seem to be a lot of new players, and I'll we'll to feature them throughout the rest of the game. Hopefully not in a bad light, taking penalties or something like that, but uh, it is preseason. We'll take preseason. That faceoff actually going to come outside. Stephenson did take the shot that lands on the back of the net. Portage College wins the draw in the neutral zone. Jammed up here along the blue line at the Concordia Thunder zone. Concordia does come away with it, and they dump it all the way back down into the Portage College end. Warren out to play it. He moves it out towards the boards. That's into Johnstone's feet, and now we've got a battle for it along the hash marks here. Players still battling for it. No one with any real cool, cool control. Now Concordia comes away with it. They work it out into the slot. Nice play there by Stephenson to break up the pass. That could have been disastrous for them, and now Beaton works it up. John Stone's great opportunity here. He works it in. That hits a stick and goes just high. Great opportunity there for John Stone, but just a second late pulling the trigger. Yeah, and how many times you hear about players getting their sticks in the way and the puck goes off the stick in the back of the net? That time it worked out for the Concordia Thunder. That puck was both in and over uh, the goaltender. A split second sooner there, and he had a great look at the net. Oh, yeah. Especially up high. Connor Doberthien from here doesn't look like a very tall guy. So you're going to be looking for shots up high on him. Or make him put a puck handle some more. Yeah. Playback underway now. Portage College trying to keep Cordia stuffed in their own zone. Looks like they're doing that so far. Durwell's harming the puck. Nice hit there by them. And we're going to have a penalty call here. Looks like on Durwell. A hooking call on Durwell. And Concordia's going to go back to the power play. Well, I mean, the positive you can take out of that is practice in the penalty kill, right? But uh, Durwell, he's looked really good so far this game, and uh, you want to get him some more ice time, so that is a negative to that point. Faceoff's going to be here to Warren's left. We're about halfway through the first period of play. No score still. Portage College wins a draw. Now they're headed up the other way. Cardinal here with a little bit of speed has Murdoch with him. Tries to go for the cross ice pass, but that's broken up. And now the 40th Thunder is coming back into Portage College zone. If that's flipped in towards Warren. He catches it, and he's just going to hold on. Probably a smart play there. I mean, you know, 
you want to get the bugs out of your system early, but you also don't want to just pop one up. Yep. For no apparent reason, right? So learn the learn the ice surface, learn your own array. It's Warren's first season would be his second game, here, so don't be turned the fuck off until you know you Draw to Warren's left, and 40 Thunder win that. They've got it at the point. That shot's just going to come in low. Tip there. Nice save by Warren. I don't know if he had time to react to that, but he just had his body in the right place at the right time. And 40 still with the puck. That puck comes out towards the slot. Nice stop there by Warren. Nice point blank slave there from the shot from the right from the slot. And 40 is still with it. They've got some pressure here. Working it back up towards the point. That shot in low. Rebound. Cleared away by the Portage College Voyageurs. Warren's just going to cover up the puck here. A few nice saves by him here on this shift. Yeah, he's getting a great opportunity to show off what he's doing for this squad this year. As I'm sure there's going to be a bit of an opening battle between him and Olivier Chere. So we'll see who comes out on top of uh, that battle before the parade season starts. Face-offs to his right. Battle for it here in the draw. Portage College comes away with it. Trying to work it out, and Jarvis does that. He pokes it free. Now into the Concordia zone. Forcing Concordia to regroup here. They've got it back behind their own net. One minute killed off in this penalty kill for the Portage College Voyagers. Just about nine minutes left in the first period here. Concordia working their way in. Try to fire it out in front. That one sat there in the crease for a quick second, but that's cleared out by the Voyagers. And now Concordia's going to have to regroup again. That actually gets whistled down on a high stick. And that face-off is going to be all the way down in the Concordia Thunder zone. Well, that's a great break for Voyagers. Give the guys an opportunity to show up a little bit more that uh, um, short-handed attacking they've been uh, up to so far this game. I love seeing that, especially from Voyagers. Face-off to Concordia's left. Draws one by the Thunder, and they've got it behind their own zone. Breaking out here to the Thunder. They're coming up the left side. They just decide to dump it in. Warren's out to play it. He couldn't quite handle the hot, hot puck, though. And now that puck is all along the right side. And Cordy's still with it in the corner. They work it back out towards the point. 20 seconds left. In the game. That shot comes in high and wide. Tanner Quinn tries to jump it out. That gets blocked, though, by the Thunder. And they've still got control in the Portage College Voyagers end. Steps tries for the dump play. That hits Johnstone. Looks like in the backside. Squirts out to the neutral zone, though. That puck shot all the way down in, and Warren is just going to cover that one up. Two seconds left here in the penalty kill. Well, it's a good penalty kill so far, and uh, you, know, you have to look at the positive, especially so early on in the season. You are practicing you know, different lineups, different changes, so it's good to see the penalty kill. Face off to Warren's right. That draws one by the 40 of Thunder. Penalty's done now. Puck's loose in the slot. Comes in to take a shot, and Warren there with a great blocker save. Puck still in the Voyager's zone, behind the net now. Campbell battling hard to get that puck back. He does manage to shake it loose, but now it comes all the way to the left side for the Concordia Thunder defenseman. Sims in battling for it now in the corner. Durwell comes away with it, and then he moves it over to Campbell. Campbell moves it up to Groom. Groom's coming in with a little bit of speed, and he breaks by the defenseman. He's in now. Over to Campbell. Campbell's in deep. He's going to dump it in and retreat back to the blue line. That puck comes out for Groom. Groom tries to make the move there, couldn't quite get it done, though. Nope. Face off to Dovertine's left. Concordia does come away with it, and they're moving through the neutral zone with some speed. Looks like All the way down in the offensive zone, the Thunder take a penalty. And now the Portage College Voyageurs are going to get a chance to show off their power play. Yeah, and it's the one guy that doesn't have a name on the back of his jersey is actually given on our roster list, so we don't know which Concordia your player just took a penalty. That was 12. We got... Oh, no, we actually do not have him anywhere on any of our lists. Mystery player yes, takes a tripping call. Face-offs to the right. Portage call decides to fake the shot. That one gets blocked. Portage College does retain control, though. Barrett works it down. Now that comes out to Campbell at the point. Campbell works it over for Durwell. Durwell across for Barrett. Barrett with the shot. Glove down there by the goaltender, but that one's loose in front. No one quite with, with control here. That one does eventually squirt back down towards the goaltender, and he does cover up. Nice pressure there by Portage. Yeah, well, they, they definitely took advantage of that broken stick uh, when the Concordia Thunder players uh, lost their stick and broken the glove shot. And, uh, but they make sure they got the bucks across the seat. Pretty really good scoring opportunity. Uh, Face off to the Overteams left. Portage College wins it. Bangor works that back for Murdoch. 
Murdoch now for Drew. That puck comes out, and Murdoch's going to have to regroup. He's got some pressure here, though, and he works it over for Bangora. Bangora couldn't handle the pass, and Portage is going to have to come all the way back into their own zone. Drew now working it up the neutral zone. He, he's got a little bit of speed going here. Tries to dangle. He couldn't quite get it, though. Cardinal comes away with the puck. Now it's up for Murdoch. Murdoch with the slap shot. Rolling puck goes right off his stick and way wide. Tough luck there for Murdoch, but he does retain control. Now he's moved it back in for Drew. Drew works it back, and that's another wonky shot by, by Murdoch there. That one goes into the corner, and now Portage battling for it. Straight heel, unfortunately, so far. That one comes back to Murdoch. He decides to pass that time. One-time shot by Bangor. It just goes wide. Drew with the puck now. He works it back up for Murdoch. Three seconds left here on the penalty power play, rather. Great shot there by Murdoch. Good pressure here. Puck's loose, and that one, the referee loses sight of it, and we're going to have a whistle here to Dover Team's right. You know what? Good power play, though. They uh, had some good puck movement. Murdoch got some chances to crack it on that. Finally, the third one he got through. But uh, again, it's finding that right combination. If this power play looks like that this entire season, they're going to be in the top of the league uh, for power play percentage of our nations and goals off the yeah. You're going to get more and more chances for Westlands. Looks great their last home game here. Now we've got to face off the Dover team's right. Concordia wins that. They take it behind their own zone. They didn't know what to do with it. And now they've got along the boards. They're just going to send it all the way down the ice here, and that's going to be an icing call. Coming all the way back to Dover team's left. Yeah, I was just starting to say there, uh, the last home game against the Grand McEwen Griffins. Portage College Voyagers had a fantastic power play. Only converted once, but they really uh, they really used their time well. Yeah, they seem to be uh, getting better and better. How Coach Kaplan really getting his system working with them and the new guys learning it really as well. Scramble off the draw here. That gets shot in behind the Thunder net. Thunder take control. Thunder now working it out towards the neutral zone. They're just going to jump it in. And they're on the puck. Battle for it here and behind them. In behind, oh, quick play out there. Great oh, oh, oh. save by Warren. Oh, and the rebound squirts out in front. Guess who? Guess Adam O'Grabby. You bet it. Johnny on the spot. Uh, Adam O'Grabby scoring that goal with only four minutes and seven seconds left in this first period here. And, uh, of course, why not? You know, why even look at the stat sheet? It's going to be McGrabby scoring against the whole team here. That's why you hear that big cheer come from the crowd. Warren made a fantastic save there on the initial play out front, but then there was a fire sale in front of the zone. No one picked up their men, and it's in the Portage College net. Concordia Thunder win the draw, and they just dump it right back in. Four minutes left now in the first period. Concordia up one to nothing. Bangor with the puck. Portage works up towards the blue line, but that's not out. That puck comes, settles down the slot now. Thunder's still with it. Now that puck's loose. Bangor moves it out. And now Durwell's coming up the ice with a little bit of speed. He's got no help, though. So he's just going to take control, slow things down. He moves it across for Johnstone, who had a good opportunity there, but that got blocked. Now the Thunder get turned away in the neutral zone, but they do regain control. Now they've brought it back into the Portage College zone. That's going to actually get whistled on the offside there, just offside. Well, again, Durwell looking really good up there. Big, moving the puck. And uh, him and uh, Carson Johnson can get some uh, things working there. It's going to be a heck of a twosome. That may actually have been Roy Hurt with the goal for the Thunder, number seven. I have McGrabby. Well, we're going to have to find out, I guess. <laughs> we'll confirm that here in a minute. Yeah. Lots of missing name bars out there tonight. Yeah. Exhibition still. <laughs> for us as well. Thunder with the puck now. That's moved up in the neutral zone, dumped into the Portage College zone. Warren out to play it. That puck now in the right side corner. Concordia takes control. They work it back out towards the blue line. They just dump it back down to the corner, and now it's behind the net. Thunder with it behind his, the Voyager's net. Try to work it back out in front, but that pass doesn't get off the tape. And now Stephenson in for the battle. Sims pushes his man off the puck, and now he's got it, working his way out towards the neutral zone. Nice pass there, now Sims is in. Puck gets knocked off his stick though, so he's just gonna have to battle for it in the corner. Two men on him, still got it though, Sims. He turns it over though, and now Portage College forced to shoot it back into their own zone and regroup. Both teams going off on a big change here. Murdoch might have been able to hit the stretch pass there a little while ago, but didn't have his head up, and the deflect play goes up into the Thunder's zone 
genetic. Yeah, I guess so. I didn't really catch exactly what happened there, other than the fact that uh, Ryan Drew was kind of wondering how the heck that bucket is sticking with flying into the end zone. Drive for the deflect play there. We're going to face off in the neutral zone. Jarvis wins that one clean. That one's back for Barrett. Barrett throw to Campbell. Campbell with the puck now. He gets knocked off it. Now the Thunder trying to regroup here. Jarvis does go away with the puck now. He's coming up the neutral zone with some speed. Trying to work his way into the zone. He does. Pokes it into the left side corner. Now Eric Campbell and trying to battle and gain control of the puck. Referee telling him to move it loose there. Battle still going on here. That puck's still jammed up there against the boards. Now it squirts loose. Portage takes control. And now it's in the other corner. Battle for it there. Thunder take control there, but they do turn it over. Now, great opportunity there for the Portage College Voyageurs. That one got turned over, and before you knew it, it was in on the Thunder net. Great save there by Connor Doberthine. Yeah, Bailed his team out on that one after a wicked turnover at the Thunder Blue Line. Yeah, he's actually really settling into his, uh, his net there, making some huge saves. Nothing's really facing him at that voice. He's had a hack of a chance to tie this game off with uh, mid-40 points that he's carried. Face off to teams right. Durwell wins that one forward. He takes the shot that goes off the side of the net. Portage still with control. Now that's John Stone in behind the net, looking for someone out in the slot. That one gets knocked off the stick. He races over to regain control, though. Now we've got a battle on the left side boards. That one squirts out. John Stone looks like he got tripped up there. No call on the play. And Bangora has the puck for Portage in the neutral zone. He tries to needle a pass through there. Doesn't find anyone. Now Portage is Durwell moving into the zone. He gets bumped off the puck, and that one gets fired back into the neutral zone where Kenny Murdoch does take control. Now they're regrouping. Bangora with the puck now. He works a pass up. That misses. That's going to head all the way down the ice. Going to have an icing call. Faceoff's going to come to Warren's right. Yeah, only uh, mid, uh, one second left in this period. And uh, I think both coaches will be glad to go back to the locker room. Regroup. Just kind of refocus their teams. I'm sure they're building that lack of pass and build up their legs. Face off one by the Thunder. They're just going to fire that right out on goal. Nice save there by Warren. That goes up and out of play. You know, face off once again to his right. He's got great position so far. That's why I've uh, noticed about Warren. He kind of just gets himself set and ready. And uh, the puck does happen to get him a lot. And uh, it looks good. Face off to his right. Sims wins that one clean. Barrett back to play. That one worked over to the corner for Campbell. Campbell tries to poke it loose. That one squirts out to the neutral zone. Now we've got a race for it. Sims comes away with it. He tries to find a man up up ice. He can't, though. Thunder turn it back down the other way. They're up the left side. They dump it in. Warren's out to play it. Warren takes a quick sec to figure out what, what he wants to do with it. And he shoots it up. Warren there with a nice pad save. Cleared out of the slot there by Groom. Groom with a backhand pass over to Barrett. He fires it all the way down. And that one gets called... I'm quite sure why that one got called, actually. I think a boy should might have been in the zone a little bit too early. I think it should be a soft call. Or no. That was coming back to center. Looks like they called that one icing. Linesman didn't expect the goaltender to come up and play that. Yeah. It's okay, though. They're getting their legs in the computer, right? Yep. Yeah. Jarvis with the win on the draw. Campbell takes control now. Campbell looking for someone to pass it to. Campbell works it back over to Barrett. Barrett with the puck. He works it up. For Deaton. Beaton, rather. Beaton dumps it in. Concordia takes control, but they turn it over behind their own net. That one pops back out in front. Concordia with control now. And that is going to just about do it here for the first period. As the horn sounds, Concordia 1, Portage 0. And not a bad first period. Yeah, you can't really complain if you're either team. You know, you had your opportunities. Challenge, and that's what Coach Kaplan's really coming focusing on right now. But I see that he's got a whole club on his staff this year, which is uh, really great to see. So he's not having to, you know, change his defensemen and forwards at the same time. And, uh, but that's going to help, I think, as well. Yeah, uh, though they weren't able to capitalize on it. Uh, the one Portage College power play did look very good. 
Uh, lots of great puck movement, not trying to force anything, just trying to wait for their opportunity and take it. Well, it'll be interesting to see what kind of roles each player will take as they uh, figure out more about this game and uh, play with their new teammates. Of course, you know, you saw Jason Parker, he's, uh, he's out there, he's always playing hard. Same with like, Gary Mendes and um, all the returning players, they, they look good, but they have to try to introduce the new guys. And then, of course, those guys can figure out how they're going to play their style game. But uh, that said, that I don't think we're just going to fall for us. One nothing here after one period of play. We're going to take a quick break and send it back to Scott Mitchell, but not first before thanking a few of our sponsors. Of course, Britain's your independent grocers sponsoring all the home games here, free to attend for everyone. Great contribution to the community. Uh, Smiley's as well, sponsoring the calendar. That's awesome. Uh, so mention it's shots of 13, 13, 2, so pretty even game under the score sheet, but uh, shots. Excellent. All right, we're going to send it back here to Scott Mitchell in the Big Dog 103.5 studio. We'll be back with you here in about 14 minutes' time.
Center. We've got some action here between the Portage College Warriors and the Concordia Thunder. Going into the second period here, uh, the Thunder are up one to nothing. My name's Luke. Standing next to me here is Lee Steele. Yeah, 13 first year of the shots in that first period. And uh, the power play percentage, zero for both teams. And uh, I think Concordia had the two chances. No, I, think, I know they had the two chances. I got to get the rest off, too. It's preseason. Puck drops there, and Concordia takes control right away. That puck on the wet ice, just slithering around the neutral zone. Portage takes control. That pass is broken up, and now Concordia has it in their own zone. Portage breaks up a pass, and now Concordia just slaps it down the ice. Icing's waved off. Now Kenny Murdoff is back to play it. Murdoff for the Voyagers has it behind the net. He works up for Groom. Groom works it over. Cardinal with it now. He turns it over. Portage does get it back, though. Shot there on a broken stick play. Goes wide of the net. Cardinal battles for the puck, and now Groom's going in for it. Thunder Duke cleared out of the zone, but Murdoch takes control in the neutral zone. He works it over for Groom. Groom into the zone now. He's looking for someone. There's Jarvis. Jarvis has it in behind the goal line now, on the right side. Parker out on the ice now. He just dumps it in behind the zone, no one there to take it, and the Thunder do regain control. Good pressure there by Parker. Thunder player looking for the tripping call there. He's not going to get it, but he does manage to clear it. Now the puck is down to the Voyager zone. Yeah, it looks like a little bit of embellishment, or maybe it's just the fresh ice to help one as many as the five points on the point. Portage jumps it out into the neutral zone now, but Concordia regains control. They were going to the Voyagers, and now up the left side. Now down and behind the net. That pass is broken up by Jarvis. He's looking for somewhere to go with it. He's in this slot now, and he moves it out for Murda. Murda dumps it in deep. Concordia takes control. Parker's right on him. That puck is turned over to Durwell. Parker with it now. Good opportunity here for the Voyagers. Nice shot there. Stopped by the goaltender. Parker tries to turn around play, but he shoots that one about 12 feet wide. Now the puck's still in the Concordia Thunder zone. Good pressure here by the Voyagers. They're trying to regain control. But the Thunder do manage to regroup and clear it back out to the neutral zone. And they're into the Portage College zone now at the left side. Now it's into the slot. Durwell came in there looking for the big hit. He just missed him. Now Bangor with the puck in the neutral zone. He dumps it in. Dobertine out to play it. He runs it around the glass, but that's stopped there by Durwell. Durwell with the puck now. He tries to find someone in the slot. That bounced off stick right to him. Now great pass there low. Great opportunity there for Carson Johnstone. That looked like it slid under the goaltender but went wide. Now Durwell with the puck. He's got it in low. Still with the puck now is Durwell. He moves it down. For Smith. That puck takes a funny bounce off the end boards. Squirts back out in front. Bangor holds it in. Smith with the puck now. He moves out for Durwell. Durwell gets tied up on the shot and couldn't quite let it go. Thunder with the puck now and they move it up their left side. Thunder get it in deep. It's in the right side now. Thunder on it right away. Bangor there with a nice play to knock his man off the puck. Now it's a battle for it in the left side corner. Portage looking to regain control. And they do. Now they're headed back up the other way. Good pass there, and now Portage is in with speed. That's the Cardinal. Cardinal with the puck. He's got on the right side corner. Left side, excuse me. Thunder do take it away, and they work it back up towards the neutral zone. And it's up on the left side there. Portage regains control. Weak play on the puck there, though, allows the Thunder to pressure a little bit. Barrett with it now. He moves it up, and there's a battle along the right side boards. Portage does come away with it, and they dump it up. Cardinal now with some speed. Looks like we might have an odd man rush here. He tries to find Barrett out front, but that play gets broken up. Now we got Sims right in front. Great save there by Doberthine. That puck just sitting there in the slot. Now it works its way back out to the pike. Another save by Doberthine, and that puck gets cleared out by the Thunder. Great opportunity there for the Voyagers. He had some massive bodies and Brent Doberthine get that puck out. Now the Voyagers back in on the attack. That puck out in front. Cross ice pass and Parker scores. He comes with the celebration there. Got a little bit of a friendly bounce on the first pass attempt there. Got Doberthine going one way, but the puck was going the other way. Yeah, great goal there, Jesse Parker. Uh, the recipient of a great pass from Eli Jarvis in the back net, 1 1. Voyagers looking like they're going to score for the last like, two or three minutes. They finally fought one there, uh, three minutes and 51 seconds in the second period. And it's great to see this Voyager team coming out like this in the second, and uh, hopefully, we see some more of it. Great response there. We're now tied at 1. 16.09 to go here in the second period. The Thunder win that draw, and they're up on the attack right away. Look at the game back that lead that they just lost there to the Voyagers and a goal by Jesse Parker. Bangor and Hart for the puck. 
battle for it in here on the left side. Portage does come away with it, but that squirts out to the neutral zone, and the Thunder are able to dump back in. Bangor is back for it. Warren comes out to play it. Bangora up the right side boards now. Left side boards rather. A little bit of a dangerous play there by Parker. That could have ended badly for both of those guys. Bangora with the puck now in the Portage College zone. He puts that out into the slot, and Portage just come away with it. Now, Beaton working his way in. That shot goes wide. Now Jarvis is in on the puck. He tries to poke it loose, and he does. Jarvis with control now at the blue line. He fires it in towards the net, but that's turned away by the Thunder player. Thunder with it now, working up their left side. Stops at the blue line, looks for a cross, man cross ice. He finds one, tries to work it back into the slot there. Great play by Murdoch to break that up with the stick. And now that was Smith looking for the stretch pass. He missed Durwell by about a half a mile, and that's going to be an icing call. Well, I'm surprised it was that far up that pass because the Voyagers have actually really kicked it into their second, third, fourth. Heck, it could even be their fifth year this period. They've been flying around the ice around the hop, and uh, I'm not a slow period like the first for sure. Yep, getting confirmation now that was uh, Parker. From Jarvis and Groom. Groom. Groomer. Groomer. Dropping nicknames already. Oh, uh, hockey nicknames are easy. Oh, I love hockey. Hey, it's, it's Groomsy. It's Groomer. Groom it's Groomy. Groomy. <laughs> Poor guy did that from one <laughs> Face off to the right here of Warren. Voyagers come away with it. And they're working their way up to the neutral zone now. Bad pass there, though. Allows Concordia to turn it over. That takes a funny hop, and now Durwell's in on the attack. He tries to dangle through, and he does. Durwell with a great save there by Doberthien. Great opportunity by Durwell. That was a big man that just got through all those defensemen. He's looking like a one-man wrecking ball so far in this game. Now Thunder on the attack. It's a great blocker save there by Warren. Portage fires it back out into the neutral zone. Now Durwell on it. Thunder fire it back in. That gets turned away by Stephenson. Stephenson net with it now. Moves it over to Barrett. Barrett up for Smith, but he couldn't handle the pass. That one gets fired back in on Warren, who easily steers it aside. Barrett with it again. He moves it up for Smith. Smith gets it knocked off his stick, but Barrett regains control. Nice pass there for Johnstone. Johnstone's coming in with some speed now. He tries to find a pass to the slot, but that misses everyone. Jerwell with it. He works back with the point for Bangora. Bangora with a quick shot. Easy save for Doberthien. Right into the bread basket there. Not a bad shot selection, though, by, by Bangor to get it on that. No, it's a quick release, too. It's uh, what you want to see as a coach. And, you know, Gary Wynn is maybe one step behind to get in front of the net. But again, once he gets everything clicking, uh, Coach Kaplan is, you know what? That could be a tip in tremendous. Jarvis loses the draw. Derby team's right. And the Thunder take control. Portage hard on it, though, and they're able to, able to regain control in the neutral zone. Fires over to Bangora. Bangora works it back for his defensive partner. With it now behind the net are the Voyageurs. On the breakout, here comes Jarvis. That one takes a bad bounce off the skate, and now they, the Thunder have an opportunity. He wires it off the post. Close opportunity. Tough break there for the Voyageurs. Jarvis was trying to break out of his zone. The puck went off his teammate's skate and bounced back to the Thunder for a great opportunity. Bangora with the puck now. He works it up for Jarvis. Now Jarvis up with some speed. Jarvis into the slot, gets it knocked off the stick, and he's just going to dump it back in. Quinn with it now. He misses that. And the Thunder take control behind their own net. Thunder with it now in the neutral zone. They get it poked off their stick, and that's going to be offside. Well, do you think that uh, Coach Kaplan will go to a different goal in the third period? Are they bringing Trey, or are they going to continue with the... Uh... I think he'll stick with what's working. He's, he's, he, he played goaltender himself when yeah. he played the CIS, so... You know, it is exhibition, so maybe you might want to switch it up a little bit, but if you want to win games, you go with what's working. Exactly. I think so it's, far, you know, all the players are able to play on the field. Yeah. I don't know if we're not going to go to Captain versus the next one. So I can make it as Play back underway now. It's Cardinal with the puck. Now Groom tries to take control. The Voyagers are offside. They're going to have to tag up. Now we hit a skate on the way in. Working their way up now are the Thunder. They're heading through the neutral zone. Now they're into the Portage College end, but the Portage College Voyagers do take it back and send it back the other way. Thunder with it now, they dump it all the way past Warren, who came out to play it, but couldn't quite get there in time. Battle for it in the corner now.
Stephenson knocks that one away. That one fired back in towards the net, just misses Warren's right. Takes a good bounce for the Voyagers now, though, and they're into the opposing end. Cardinal with it now. He's got it backwards. Groom with it. Tries to move it for Sims, but that's broken up. Groom still with it, though. Hard on the puck. Sims coming in for support. Sims comes away with the puck now. He's going to look for someone. He comes out in front, just tries to take a shot. He missed the net, though. Sharp angle there to try and score from. And now the Thunder have a chance to dump it in and go on a wholesale change here. Portage College moving it out. That's turned over. Three on one here. Bad pass there. Lucky break for the Portage College Voyageurs. As that turnover could have been disastrous for them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That puck hits a man and goes out of play. Faceoff's going to come inside. 11:27 yeah. remaining here in the second period. Score one to one. Yeah, a couple opportunities there that could have been really disastrous for Portage. Thankfully, uh, you know, both teams are still looking at all their games. But uh, we want to clean that up as soon as possible. Face off to Warren's right. The Thunder win that. It's back at the point. Shot gets blocked, but it's still in the Portage College zone. Warren out to play it. He just pokes it over for his defenseman. The defenseman turns it over, though. And now the Thunder have it in the corner. That one hits a body, and now it's behind the net. Thunder still with it. Campbell's able to knock his man off the puck, but he turns it over right away. Thunder with it now. Great save there by Warren with the right pad. Had to be quick on that one. And the rebound gets poked all the way back into the neutral zone. Thunder still with it. Portage trying to apply some pressure here and regain control of the puck, but the Thunder in along the right side. That pass is broken up by Zach Beaton. Portage working their way up the neutral zone now. Beaton passes in, into, the, into the zone. That one shot in on Doberthy. He's going to make the easy glove save and hold on for a whistle to his left. Yeah, we'll go halfway through this period and finally Portage get some more pressure after tying this up. The uh, last five minutes have been you know, kind of stuck in mud in their own zone that you know, hopefully they can swing it uh, Face off here, Dover teams left. Portage wins that, and it's back at the point. They just try to dunk back in. Johnstone now battling for it. Durwell comes in to help him. Still in along the sideboards here. Durwell trying to come away with it, but he can't quite. Now he does come away with it. He's trying to find a man. He's got one right out in front here. Oh, great chance there for Smith, but he fans on the shot. Smith now trying to work it back out in front. He moves it back to the point. That one's just fired in low and wide. Thunder with it now. They try to fire it up. Portage College does manage to keep it in the zone, though. A little bit of a fire sale here for the Thunder defense. Portage unable to take advantage of that. They're going to have to regroup in their own zone. Halfway through the second period here, 1-1. One one. Thunder dumped that into the Portage College zone. Warren out to play it. He's got no qualms about playing the puck, that's for sure. Oh, he does not. <laughs> Portage working way up the right side now. They're just going to dump it in. Gary Mint is in on that one right away. Tanner Quinn with it now. Quinn with the puck in the corner. He's trying to find a man to move it to. Thunder hard on him, though. Quinn still with it. Battles his way out. Tries to find a man in front. Murdoff with the shot just high and wide. He had a great opportunity there. Portage College with some good pressure here. Quinn's is still in on the forecheck. Parker there with the shot from a sharp angle. Stopped by Dilberthy, and now the Thunder are going to come away with it. Quinn. Great shift there for Quinn. Just offside. Dude. Just offside. Almost got away with one there. Quinn was on the other side of the linesman who didn't see that he was offside. He waved it off, but the referee saw that one. Yeah, but a great little shift there by a trio of first round, our uh, last year vet player, that I'm trying to say. Parker Mendes, when uh, Wayne he's a elite spark luck. Every single time he's on the ice, you got to watch out for me. Got a goaltending change here for the Concordia Thunder. Doberthine coming out for Joel Wilson. So see if the Voyagers can take advantage of the other goalie here. Thunder with it now working through the neutral zone. They're coming with some speed, and that's turned away by the Voyagers. They turned over with their blue line, though, and that gets dumped back deep into their own zone. Warren out to play once again. Kind of gets caught behind the zone net here, but he lucks out, and the Portage College Voyagers come away with it. They dump it out in the neutral zone. Thunder turning over, though, and now the Voyagers are running into that. High shot there, looking to get some pucks on him right away, but that one goes high and wide. Thunder with it now, Harden on the right side. That shot goes wide to the right side of Warren. And now the Thunder's still with it, they've got him the slot. That shot goes low to the left of Warren. 
Thunder still with it in the Voyager's zone. That shot fires his way out of the slot. Portage College, good defensive recovery there to knock that puck off the player's stick in the slot. Now they come away with it. They jump it in. That hits the linesman. Murdoch takes a big hit there, but he gets right back up. That puck gets dumped all the way down the ice, and Campbell reached out and touched it, so icing is waved off. Campbell back for it. Now he gets hauled down, and that looks like it's going to be a penalty against the Concordia Thunder, and they're still tied up down there. Portage still with it, though, and this play's still going. Parker in on the four check. Those players were not letting it go down there at the far end of the ice. No, and they only had the one linesman uh, to break it up as the ref was making sure that the other incident on the other side of the ice didn't turn into something worse than it could have been. But uh, we have to see what kind of penalties we get. Probably for sure a roughing. We'll see if anything else is going to be taken. It looks like it's going to be the two minutes. And that's about uh, 7.51 left in this period. Voyagers are going to the power play here. Great chance to test out Wilson, see what he's got. Face off to his left. Drewell wins that one back to the point for Barrett. Barrett throws it for Sims. That's over to Durwell. Great right front for Smith. Smith jamming at it. That's a nice save by Wilson there. And that gets fired all the way down the ice. And the Portage College Voyagers are going to have to regroup. Great start to that power play there. Yeah, Smith and, you know, getting some opportunities in this period. And Durwell again continues. Uh, great, you know, 30 plus minutes of work so far. Portage working it back up into the zone now. This is Smith. Works it back for Groom. Groom with the puck now. He works it back for Barrett. No, that's Durwell, rather. Durwell in low for Groom. Groom back out high for Barrett. Barrett mulling over his options here. Works it back over for Groom. Groom tries to work it back out in deep, but that hits a skate and gets poked out by the Concordia Thunder. Portage quickly back on the attack, though. This is Durwell into the zone. For Groom. Back to Durwell. Durwell with it now. Two men on him, trying to work him off the puck. He moves it over to Groom. Groom with a good shot here. Nice save by Wilson. Groom still with it. He works it out for Durwell. Durwell back for Campbell. One-time shot there goes just wide. That one bounces off the end boards and gets poked away by the Concordia Thunder, who now come away two-on-two two here. Actually a bit of a partial break. Try to work it across. Nice save there by Warren. Good stop. Bangura with it now for the Voyageurs. He moves it up for Campbell. Campbell working his way slowly through the neutral zone now. He stops up at the blue line, tries to find a man, and he does. Johnstone's got it now. He's got a good opportunity here. Tries to work it across for Sims. Great save there by Wilson. Johnstone with it now. He fires a shot. That gets blocked. And the Thunder come away with it, and they're going to work their way back up the ice. Coming in on a odd man rush here. They work it back out in front. Couldn't quite connect on the pass there, though, and that one goes wide. The Voyagers with the puck now working their way back up. Into the zone now. And and rush here. Great save by Wilson. He's just going to cover up. That was Murda, the defenseman, on the uncharacteristic rush. Gets the shot, though. Well, we said they wanted to get some pucks on Wilson and test him out. Looks like he's up to the challenge here, coming in halfway through the game. Yeah, he has. He stepped up quite well. Uh, I just want to mention, too, that the stream is up and working again, but you need to use Google Chrome, and you can access that. Portage College Athletics website. Power play is done here, but Portage College does still have the puck. This is beaten. He takes a hit to make the play. Parker with it down low. Parker battling for it here. He gets hauled down. This is going to look like it's going to be another call against the Thunder. And it is. It's going to be another holding call. And Hale comes in. Oh. He's got a little bit of action all over the ice here. Well, I saw a punch. I saw a stick get chopped out of someone's hands. And, uh, There's the initial holding call. All right, so Beaton's off for the Voyagers. Looks like Ryanson's going to be off for yeah. the Thunder. It's Ryanson took the holding call against yeah. Parker. Beaton, I'm not exactly sure what he did. We'll find out here I soon. think he took the roughing call here on the far side of the ice. So he threw the punch. Tanner Quinn asking the referee a question, trying to see why they're not exactly going on the power play here. Well, you definitely, uh, you saw the penalty right in front of us. Uh, Jesse Parker got hauled down by Ryanson, but uh, there was a definite punch by someone. I missed the number, unfortunately. I got a little bit excited when I see punches thrown on the ice. But uh, you, you got to take a penalty for that as well.
Portage is actually going to be on the penalty kill here. So what initially was going to be a power play for them is turned into a penalty kill after all the extra curriculars after the whistle. Well, we'll find out what happens here soon as uh, David Paul the snow. Face off to Warren's left and the Thunder win that clean. Back to the point now. Something to do with it. They work along the point here and that shot's going to come in low. That one hits his leg and goes wide. Thunder still with it. Look for the slap pass there. That one comes out towards the top of the circle. Back to the point. Looks for the slap shot. Fake pass. Warren with the save there. Good positional save there by Warren. Doesn't give away a rebound. And the first 20 seconds of the penalty kill are done. We've got about 5.18 remaining left here in the second period. Still tied at 1 1 after uh, that goal by Jesse Parker. Yeah, we have some confirmation of penalties. Of course, we have the Holy Grinison and then Zach Beaton took a roughing after the, uh, after the whistle and also a slashing. Faceoffs won there by the Concordia Thunder. Their shot goes in wide. Portage plays a high-pressure penalty kill, and they're going to look to try and get the puck out here. They can't quite get the puck away. Great pad save there by Warren. He had to be quick on that one. Thunder still with the puck, though. They're working it around. Back towards the point. That shot comes in high. Good glove there by Warren to knock it down. I don't think he saw that one quite all the way, but he did get the glove on it. Thunder still with the puck here. Still cycling it around. They find a man at the far side point. He takes a shot. That one gets partially blocked and goes wide. Then he'll try to find a man in the slot. Put it right on the Voyager's stick. And now the Voyager's try for the pass. Couldn't quite make a connect, though. They do get it out of the zone. But they are only able to change one player. Johnstone coming onto the ice now. Concordia working their way through the neutral zone. They just turn it over. Johnstone has the puck. He's coming in one on three. Looking to make something happen here. He blasts by with some speed. Stops up in the corner. And I was just looking to kill some time. He jumps it in for Groom, but that one just gets broken up before it makes it to Groom behind the Thunder net. Thunder regrouping here. They're working their way out of the zone now. Cross ice pass there into the neutral zone. Now the Thunder are working their way into the Voyager's end. Shot there is stopped by Warren. That one bounces back in towards the net, hits something else and goes in behind the net. The Voyagers are able to clear. That was a good opportunity there for the Thunder. We've got about seven seconds left here in the penalty kill for the Voyagers. So it's 3.40 left remaining in the period. Tanner Quinn was serving the extra two. He steps out of the box now. And that puck finds its way to Jesse Parker, who's working his way up into the Concordia zone on the left side. He drops it back for Quinn. Quinn thinks about shooting. He sends it back out into the slot. That pass just a little too hot for Murda, who's sneaking in the backside there. Quinn's still with the puck here. Sims gets tied up, and he's unable to take control. Thunder move it out now, and they're headed up the other way. Thunder in, up the right side. That one's knocked away by Bangora. He's got it in his skates now, and he takes control. He works it back for his defensive partner, who works it back to Bangora. He couldn't quite handle the pass, though. And that puck gets turned over in the slot. Bangor does regain control. Now he sends it back out. This is Jarvis. Jarvis up the left side. He swings back into the center. He's trying to make something happen here. Still got the puck. And now he's battling for it in the corner. Parker comes in to help him. Still a battle for it. Jarvis trying to come away with it, but he gets out muscled. And now the Thunder coming up the right side. Shot there. Goes off the toe of Warren. And now Blazers are up. up the other way. Great stop there by Wilson. That was Groom almost making something out of nothing there. Yeah, you definitely seen the differing styles between Wilson and his Warren for the Voyager's more positional standing there, you know, going for the butterfly. Whereas uh, Wilson, it's like there's a puck, I'm going to just move at it, and it's really uh, it's more athletic than Wilson. It's fun to watch, but Warren's doing a great job back there. Derwell loses that draw to Wilson's right. Groom in battling now with, it, with Smith. That one comes out to the Thunder. They're working it up the neutral zone now, and they dump into the Voyager's zone. Derwell with it now. He turns up the ice with some speed. Works his way through the center, and he finds Groom. Groom across the blue line now. He drops it back. This is Campbell. Campbell tries to find Derwell, but he couldn't quite make the pass work. Thunder with it now in their own zone. He's being battled for in the corner by Durwell. Durwell comes out. He finds Groom all alone. Groom tries to make a fancy play. goes through the legs, and then he gets stopped by Wilson. That one pops back out for Johnstone, who fires it right back down in at the net. Nice try there by Ryan Groom, but uh, was that really the advisable play there? Yes. 
You think so? <laughs> In preseason, why not? Yeah, I was flashy, oh, but... Man. <laughs> you know what? You gotta try some of those things sometimes. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but hey, we all got to see it. Didn't yes. quite that time. Johnstone wins the draw there, and that puck gets fired up into the air. Johnstone still looking for it. Bangor able to hold it in here. Johnstone comes away with the puck. Sims dumps it back in. Cardinal hard on the four check here. Johnstone with the puck. He dumps it back now. Cardinal's got it. He tries to find a man in front. He does. That one squirts back behind the net for Cardinal, though, and he's still got the puck. Tries to go back the other way, but he can't quite make that work. And now the Thunder going to come over with the puck. Just over a minute left here remaining. Portage turns that over, and they're coming back in. That's Sims with the shot. That one hits Cardinal skate in front and goes wide. Cardinal came with the hit now. Now we've just got one minute left. Murdoch taking some pressure there, but he managed to retain the puck, and he fires it up through the neutral zone, looking for the stretch pass there. He couldn't quite make that one work there. Nice play there by Jarvis to knock his man off the puck. And he's got the puck now. Moves it over for Bangora. Bangora with the puck. He works it over for Murdoch. Lots of pressure here from the Thunder, looking to finish off the period with their one goal lead back intact, but they might not do that. Thunder working out towards the top of the circle. That shot hits a stick and goes high. Parker with it now. He's got Jarvis going long. Oh, just missed the stretch pass there. He had Jarvis going in on a breakaway if he made the pass. Just took a funny hop on him, though, and that's going to be an icing call all the way back down to the Voyager zone. Yeah, it's another one of those things you don't want to try, maybe, you know, with the 19 minutes left of uh, the period, but with the 21 seconds, why not? It is a preseason. See if you can find that guy stretching across the ice for a chance. 22 seconds left here in the second period. Face off to Warren's right. Delay here. Now the puck drops. Battle for it here on the faceoff dot. Thunder to eventually come away with that and they work it back to the point. Ten seconds left now. That shot gets blocked. Portage trying to clear it, but that one doesn't make it out. Thunder still with it. They work it back to the point. Four seconds left. Puck's in the slot now. That one gets turned over. Bangor with it. He's just going to fire it out of the zone, and that's going to do it for the second period of play here at the Bolt Center. Voyager has managed to tie it back up 1-1 on the one, and a goal by Jesse Parker, who was Johnny on the spot. Yeah, a great pass from uh, Jarvis there to set him up. But the Voyagers definitely get a different gear than we mentioned earlier in that period. And they start to bring out some more of the skill. You saw the toe drags. They're ridiculous through the leg, trying to pop the puck with the goaltender's bad by Groom. And uh, it's fun to see. And you know what? That turns into some results later on down the road of the season for Arnie Kaplan's group here, which has uh, really impressed me so far. There's a couple of names that I really enjoyed right off the hop. You know, you're here well, watching more back to Bangora, word up, but everybody else is starting to really get on the same page out there. And uh, a couple more games left. You know, I think this team can click in so once the season starts, they'll be uh, on the ice and flying. Yeah, and I mean, for missing so many guys, it looks like they're, they've got a decent amount of energy out there. Uh, their power play is really still very strong for them. Uh, they didn't manage to score another power, any power play goals yet so far, but all the opportunities they've had, they have spent almost all their time in the Thunder zone, and they're really putting the pressure on them now. Well, they got those guys in front of the puck on the net, which is great. You know, you got a heavy shot, it doesn't always get through, but word off Bangora, they're getting their pucks through. You know, you got some other veteran guys that have been playing, you know, it's like a year. Then you see Smith and Gerwell down low, big bodies, great hands. Smith had a couple chances there. And we're going to send it back to Scott Mitchell here in a second, but just one, we'll take one quick moment here to thank our sponsors, Britain Zero Independent Grocers, for sponsoring the free admission to all Voyager's home games this year. Thank you, big thank you to them. Uh, Smiley's, uh, Boston Pizza, Can Alta and Ramada, I'd like to take a minute to thank those guys too for all their support. And we are going to be back in about 14 minutes and 20 seconds here. We'll send it back to the studio with Scott, Mit with Scott Mitchell. Yes.
to the Portage College Voyageurs and the visiting Concordia Thunder. After two periods of play, the score is tied 1-1. One to one. My name's Luke, and I'm here, standing here with me is Lee Steele. Yeah, very even game so far. Of course, even the score, and uh, first period, we saw Concordia get their goal. Portage came back in that second period and scored theirs. Uh, so far, the shots are 31 for Portage, 19 for Concordia. In that second period alone, 18 to 6 for Portage. They tripled the shots that Concordia had. They absolutely peppered the two goaltenders, Dovin and Wilson. They switched halfway through for, uh, for um, the uh, Thunder there. So it's been a, a pretty crazy second period, and hopefully the Warriors can keep it up, that momentum, and uh, continue to play that well. Yeah, and if you're uh, tuning into the stream on YouTube, you can find that link on Big Dog 1035's Facebook page. Or if you're just on the radio here, Voyagers going left to right, Thunder going right to left. Pucks dropped here, and the Voyagers win it. This is Groom. He works it back for Barrett. Barrett over to Campbell. Campbell's got it in his own zone. He fires it up, and that hits a man in the slot. Lucky play there for Campbell. The hockey gods were on his side that time as he turned the puck over on the slot. And the stick just busts well, for the Thunder player. Happened. And now the Voyageurs are into the far zone. Shot goes high there for the Portage College Voyageurs. Voyageurs with it now, battling along the boards for it. That puck is kept in by Durwell. Durwell now with it in the slot. He tries to work it over. That puck comes, and he scores! That puck squirts over. Can't tell who got it there. I think Cardinal. Durwell held that one in at the blue line, tried to work his way through the slot, it got knocked off a stick and right over to Darian Cardinal who scores his first goal, I believe, of the exhibition season. Yeah, you know what, uh, he's always giant in the spot, an opportunistic type player, he's a bit smaller, but you know what, he finds those holes and he went top chest that one, he wasn't going to screw around, he wasn't going to try to like soft it in, he was going right underneath the bar. And just like that, the Voyagers are up 2-1, to one, less than a minute into the third period. A little bit of a delay here. Got a broken stick. Oh, it was a Concordia broken stick that was put on the Voyager's bench. They just got to get that sorted out. <laughs> and the puck drops here. Thunder win that one. They're working their way up through the neutral zone. They just dump it in. That's into the corner there. Bangora goes in and knocks the puck away. Thunder come away with it though. They dump it back into the corner. Bangora with it now. He tries to move back behind the net. That gets broken up. He regains control of the puck, though, and now the Voyager is with it. This is Sims. That one hits a skate on the way out. Johnstone takes control now. He works it up the middle. That pass misses everyone, heads into the neutral zone where the Thunder take control. Thunder with it now. Nice cross-ice pass there, and they're coming up the left wing. Murdoch tries to rub him out, but he still has control. Puck comes back out to the point. That quick shot comes in and is blocked by Bangora. Flipped out into the neutral zone by Sims. That one's controlled now by the Thunder. They've got it behind their own net. Sims forces him out and then goes off for a change. Five fresh players out on the ice here for the Voyageurs. Thunder with it behind their own net. Slap pass out to the neutral zone there. Backfires on Concordia and they're forced to regroup back in their own zone. Cross ice pass out through the neutral zone, and they just dump it into the Portage College end. Warren out to play it. That one gets turned over by Barrett behind the net. That one comes out to Warren. He stops it and covers up. Smart play there by him. Yeah, you've seen a lot of smart decisions from uh, Warren so far this game. You know, really just covering up when he needs to, being smart positionally, and uh, not taking too many chances when he's trying to fire that puck out of the zone. Just had a little guy take a tumble here on the stairs. He's okay, though. That was Boss Rick's son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lee. Anyhow, play back underway here. Linesman takes a tumble there on the on the, on the the right side here. <laughs> Battle forward in the corner. Bangor comes away with control. Groom with the puck now. He turns it over when it hits skate. That's into the slot. Nice save there by Warren. Back behind the net. The Thunder control. They try to work it out in front. Bangor comes away with the puck, though. He works out for Groom. Groom's trying to work his way out here. That one gets stopped up at the blue line. That was a battle for it. Durwell gets that, knocked off his stick, and now Stephenson's going to have to regroup. And he tries to fire it up. No one really able to get a good stick on it here early in the period for either team. Durwell knocks that one loose. Stephenson takes control. 
Quinn fires it up into the neutral zone, and that one makes its way all the way back into the Thunder zone. They turn it back up the other way and dump it into the Fort House College end. Thunder with it now in the corner. They try to find a man on the point, but there's no one there. They're off on a change, and now they're going to have to regroup. Thunder with it in their own zone. Coming up through the neutral zone now, that gets turned over, and now Johnstone's coming back the other way for Portage. Portage into the zone now, tries to find a man in the slot. That just misses his man. Portage with it now along the sideboards. Try to find a man in the point, and that's no good. Partial break here for the Thunder. Great back check there. And a poke check play by Warren to not finally knock it away. Good back check there by the Voyageurs to take away that partial break. Thunder with it now, back in behind their own net. Whiffs on the pass. He's still got it behind his own net. Thunder still with it. Trying to work their way out of the zone. Slowly but surely, they do make it their way out. Nice hit there in the neutral zone to knock his man off the puck. Jarvis gets taken down. Now he loses his stick. Thunder into the, thunder into the zone. Shot goes off the stick and wide. They try to work it back out to the point, but once again, the Thunder off on a change, and there's no one there to receive the pass. That puck just stays in on the dump in. Barrett with it now for the Voyageurs. Oh, funny play there. Barrett tried to fire it up through the middle, hit his own man in front, laid there in front, and Warren bails him out. Well, you know what? If Warren keeps throwing out that stick like a lightsaber, we're going to have to change his last name to Skywalker. Of course, we had Darth Kirby last year with the black mask. We might have the, you know, the force on our side this year with Warren. Draw goes back there for Murdoff. Warren goes for another poke check play there. Loves playing the puck. Jarvis with the puck now. Gets it up into the neutral zone. Parker almost turns that one over for the Voyagers. Thunder with the puck in their own zone now. They dump it out in the neutral zone. Stephenson takes control. He works it over for Murdoff. Murdoff back to Stephenson. Stephenson up for Beaton. Beaton working his way through the neutral zone. That gets knocked off the stick, and now there's a battle for it along the red line. Right in front of the scorekeeper's box here. Beaton comes away with it. He tries to dump it in, but that gets turned away. Murdoff with it now. He just moves in towards the blue line, fires it in, hits the defender stick, and breaks it. It's about four sticks this game that uh, exploded. Yeah, that's three this period so yeah. far. The athletic directors will be knocking down those seeing how much you know I'm broken but what are we paying you guys for <laughs> it's part of the game we're all used to it now right at least it's not a goal scoring opportunity it's right in the middle of the ice face off is to Wilson's left in the Concordia Thunder zone slight delay here as the referee talks to one of the coaches here that's one back by the Voyageurs Campbell right on goal that one hits a leg doesn't make it to the net Thunder dump it out Campbell with it He's got men right on him. Thunder work it into the Portage College zone here. Now they've got a little bit of a break here. Work it in. Nice save there by Warren. Good blocker stop. Pass back out in front is broken up by the Voyageurs. And now they do break it up in the slot now. Now it's Groom. He's working his way up guys with some speed. Jerwell with him and Campbell. Groom stops up. Takes a shot. Good save there by Wilson. That one goes into the corner. Now Quinn with it right out in front. Oh, and he loses his balance. Had a great opportunity there, and he just lost his feet. Yeah, unless they hit something in the ice or just, you know, get tripped over the Quinn with line. it now. Back in behind the net. It's Groom for Quinn. He takes a shot, and that hits a man in the face in front of the net. Can't be feeling good after that one. He's slowly making his way off. Oh, actually, he's staying on the ice. His chin strap's still undone, and the referee does eventually call that. We have Dr. Fyatt standing over here. He made a quick look at me, so if he needs dental work, we got the guy right in the building. He's slowly making his way over to the Thunder bench. That puck came up and hit him right in the right cheek. Yeah. You never want to see that. It's uh, another unfortunate uh, thing in the game. That's, they wear the vise. That's mostly to protect the eyes, but the cheek, the jaw, the teeth, uh, that's a uh, fair game, of course, to lose parts of that. He did skate off under his own power, though, so... We'll try and get an update on him. Thunder with it now into the Portage College zone. That one gets fired in on the net, and Warren just gloves it down, takes the face off. A little bit of a lull in the action right now between both teams. It's, I think maybe third period, like, we're starting to settle in. It's uh, 
it's hot outside. We had 24 degrees out this afternoon, yeah. so these guys are feeling for sure. You could say those third period legs are setting in for Tanner Quinn, who just bailed on that one in front of the net. Well, he'll be back. Portos calls with it now behind the net. Murdoff works it up for Sims. Sims finds Johnstone with some speed up, the, up through the neutral zone. They're in the Thunder zone now. Now Barrett with it. He takes a shot towards net. That hits a man and goes up and out of play. And we've got another whistle. Two to one here in the third period. We've got about 13 and a half minutes left to go. So far so good though for both teams. Uh, Portage fortunate to have the lead, but uh, again, you start to see more and more skill from some of these guys. Groom's been impressed the last, you know, 25 minutes of this game, and uh, we'll see what the news from him. Face off to Wilson's right, Portage wins it back. Barrett takes a slap shot towards net. Wilson makes the save and directs it out of play. We've got another face off. This time it's going to be to his left. Yeah, we're really sledging through it now. Jarvis going to take the draw for the Voyageurs. He wins it clean, but does get tied up, and the Thunder take control. Now they've got it in, and we've got another whistle. Oh, that one came in offside that time. Get your water, your Gatorade in you, and uh, get your legs, you know, stretch. I know you don't have to do a lot of moving, so I guess there is some positive for these guys, but uh, definitely slow moving. We've got some in the oven. Now it's time to go check on it, make sure you're not burning it. <laughs> Jarvis back in for the draw here. Thunder win that one. They've got it in the neutral zone. They just poke it into the Voyager's zone. And on the right side now, Bareth for Bangura. Bangura working his way up the right wing. He's forced to turn back. And he's going to try and fire behind the net, but he almost turns it over there. Gets a stick tied up a little bit. Bangura's still with it. He works it up for Parker. Parker's got it in his skates. And he work, tries to work it up for Beaton. That one finds its way most of the way down the ice, but Ison is waved off as the defenseman makes it there. Jarvis in for some support now. Does manage to take it back briefly, and now Parker on the forecheck. Beaton looking for the hit there, but didn't have a chance to pop one off. And now the Thunder up to the left side. Tries for the cross ice pass, but doesn't find anyone. Warren looks like he wanted to go out and play that one, but they're going to have lots of time here as both teams go off for full change. Stretch pass there, hops over Parker's stick, and that's going to be an icing call. Tough break there, that looks like it was going to be a pretty good pass. Yeah, well, both teams, you know, they're just starting to kind of lose that momentum they had in the second period. That's what we're most of action. Right now, again, it really slowed down, but guys are still trying to figure out uh, which combinations will work as well. Face-offs to Warren's left. Portas comes away with the puck. Parker works it up now. Finds Quinn. Gets called on the offside. I think we've had about six whistles here in the last minute and a half of play. Yeah, I think it was 13-29 when the whistle started, and uh, we now all 15. Score is still 2-1 to one here in the third period. We're having fun, though. It's a great game for me down here. At. Draws one by the Thunder. They have control in their own zone. They work it up towards the neutral zone, coming up the right wing now. Thunder into the portage call again. That pass gets broken up in the slot. Quinn has it now. He just fires it off the glass and down the ice. Now a break here for Groom. Groom's in on goal. Nice deep there. He shoots. He scores. Great goal by Groom. Quinn's going to get the assist on the dump out there. Groom just snuck in behind the defenseman and no one saw him back there. You know what? He's been uh, brewing for the last couple of minutes. He's been the second period. Absolutely dirty, filthy defense, crashing the boards, and he makes it down. And uh, that's the kind of skill you want to see to try to replace some of the big scores in the last game. You might be one of those guys for sure. That's my, uh, that's my early pick for player of the game here tonight for Portage. Yeah, Brian Grimby, yeah, he's played phenomenal so far. He's a good one. Draws one by the Thunder. Portage extends lead now to 3 to 1. Thunder working into the Voyager zone. Warren's out to play it once again. He works it around for Groom. Groom can't find his man at the blue line, but that puck does squirt out. And the Concordia Thunder has to touch up. Stephenson with it now, behind the net. He decides to try and skate it out, he works it up. Groom just misses that pass, hops over his stick. And now the Thunder take control in their own zone. They fire it up, but that pass misses everyone. And now Murda gets his pass intercepted in the neutral zone. That one's stolen back right away by Durwell. A little bit of sloppy play by both teams here in the neutral zone. A little bit of a fire sale for, for everyone here. 
in this third period. We've got about 11 minutes remaining here in the third. Sims knocks it back into the Thunder zone. Johnstone knocks it back into the corner. Sims just couldn't control that one quite. Cardinal knocks that one down. Cardinal within the corner now. He has it taken away from him. That puck comes back out to Campbell. Campbell with the slap shot. Wilson with the butterfly save there, right in the bread basket. He covers up and will get a whistle to his left. Now you're starting to see the Voyagers cycle through those lines, get that puck moving, and uh, getting opportunities once again from the point. And it's good to see everyone touching the puck and uh, getting a good feel for things. Draw here. That was won by the Voyagers. Back to Campbell. He works it across for Bangora. Bangora just flips one in on net, and that gets blocked halfway through. Sims with it now. He's trying to find someone to work it to. He just fires it down to the corner. Cardinal tries for the four check. Back clearing attempt hits a man. And now Warren's going to close the play for the Voyagers. He works it back into the corner for Bangora. Bangora works it back around the net for Campbell. Campbell out from behind his own net now. Working his way up. Puts it right in Johnstone's feet and he's going to have to regroup. He sends it over. All the way up the ice, actually, for Sims. That hits Sims, and the ice is going to be waved off. Just about halfway through the third period here, Portage calls Voyagers up 3-1 to one on the Concordia Thunder. Concordia working their way up the neutral zone now. That pass is broken up by Bangora. Thunder with it back in their own zone. Look for the stretch pass here, and they do the tip play. They, that takes a funny bounce off the stanchion. and luckily Bangora is there to break up the play for the Voyagers. They're hard on him, though, and he works it back for Barrett. Barrett with the stretch pass up for Parker. That hits Parker's stick, and it's going to go all the way in on Wilson, who covers up. And we're going to have a face-off once again here to Wilson's left. On that uh, puck off stanchion there, that's happened before in the past in Wilson here. So, like, we're uh, played that well, though. He's going to have to remember that he's not going to be the first time with Archer, not going to be the last time we see this season. Face-off to Wilson's left here in the Thunder zone. That's one by the Thunder. They work up the boards. Now they're through the neutral zone. And the Portage falls in up the left wing. Nice play there by Murdoch to break up that centering pass. And Murdoch sends it back up the boards. Parker takes a hit from behind there. Looks like no call in the play there. He's back up, though. No worse for wear. Puck comes down towards Warren. And he's just going to cover up. Once again, had that stick ready to play it, though. Oh, yeah. He's uh, looked like... Uh trying a couple things he should do so far, but he's been smart enough to just hold that puck. Pretty solid game. How much do you want to bet if I ask him who his favorite goalie is, he say Marty Broder? I would doubt it. I would not doubt it. Draws one there to his right by the Voyageurs. Stephenson with it now. He works it out for Durwell. Durwell moves it over to Campbell. Campbell's coming through the neutral zone. He tries to find a man on a break. That pass misses him. The icing's waved off. Thunder slap it down. But... Nice move there by Groom through the neutral zone. He's just going to dump it in. Heck of a game he's having. Portage putting some pressure in now behind the Thunder zone. Net, rather. That one's still back in behind the goal line. Portage still on it. Thund Thunder battling for it also. Now Durwell comes away with the puck. He's going to try and do something with it here. He looks like he just hit the side of the net there. That one went just high. Stephenson slaps it back into the zone. And now that one pops out to the side of the net, and the Thunder send that all the way down the ice, and Warren does not have to play it. It's going to be an icing call there. And you know what, your comment earlier about uh, Warren liking Mark Temple here, I don't think it's really fair. The guy's had the black, red, and white. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking just about how much I like to play the puck, but yeah, that's, yep. a, that's a fair observation too. <laughs> Although I guess you could, you know, give him some blue and white and yellow ones and say it's... It's St. Louis, Marty. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Portage with it down here in the corner. Sims battling for it. Cardinal coming in to help him. Both teams with two men on the puck. That one comes out in front. Scramble for it now in front, and Wilson manages to cover that one up. Great chance there for Portage to make it 4-1. to one. Yeah, you know what? Their skill guys are really starting to uh, emerge uh, in this period as well. It's, it's awesome to see because I don't really know a lot about these guys. You know? Bangor with the puck now at the point. He just dumps it back into the right side corner. Cardinal in battling for it now. Johnstone in to help him. 
Johnstone battling for it. Those sticks are getting working down there. Johnstone comes away with it. He works it back out for Murdoff. Murdoff fires it down. Going for the intentional bank there. Johnstone comes away with it. That puck pops up into the air and into the slot. I know the Thunder are coming away with it. They dump it in deep. Thunder won the race that puck, and now they've got control of the Colts' college zone. Nice hit there by Bang Gordon. Knock his man off the puck. And now the Voyageurs are coming away with it. That hits the Thunder player on the way down the ice. That's actually going to get waved down. Looked like it hit a Thunder player on the way down there, hey? Eh? Yeah, it did. Uh, unfortunately, it looked like that uh, the boys were really going to chase hard after the puck anyway. Jarvis is really slow up, so I just decided to call it nice and not to do Face off is to Warren's left. Scores 3-1, to one, about 7.5 minutes remaining here in the third period. We've got a team calling a timeout here. Looks like head coach Arnie Kaplan has called the timeout. Hmm. Must have had his men on the ice there for a long time. The yeah. icing call, you can't make a change, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, it's a smart play, too. You know, it is preseason. You could use the argument, well, you know what, they can learn from you know, having the tired lungs and the tired legs. But why not call a timeout and regroup right now, get them used to that game kind of situation? Because, you know, we've seen Coach Kaplan last year. He uses his timeouts. They're there for the use. Guys had a chance here to drink some water, get their breath, and the faceoff's going to be the Warren's left. One there by the Voyagers, and they just rim it right around the glass. Parker's got it now at the blue line, but that gets held in, and he does manage to get it out. Now Jarvis coming up with some speed. He can't quite turn it over for the Voyagers. And now the puck is out in the neutral zone. No one's had a chance to change yet. It's in the Thunder zone on the right wing. Parker knocks that one down. That puck comes out towards the blue line slot, but it's taken away by the Thunder, and they're coming up the left wing now. McGrabby goes by Bangora. Actually, not quite. Bangora takes him out to the boards. Welcome home, Adam. Yeah. Big hit. Bangora's played great so far this game. Thunder with it now back in their own zone. They're working it back out towards the neutral zone. Up the right side here. Portage with the bouncing puck does manage to clear it, but the Thunder do regain control. Room in on it now on the forecheck. That puck comes out towards the Concordia bench. Battling forward along the boards now are both teams. Now Durwell comes away with it. He's coming in with a little bit of speed. He makes a slick play there to try and make some space, but his pass just misses Groom. And now the Thunder coming up the left wing with a little bit of speed. Quick shot there, easily gloved down by Warren, and he's just going to hold on to that one for a whistle to his right. We've seen a lot more of uh, Durwell and Groom together, and a couple other guys jumping in, but uh, so far those guys might have some really great chemistry. And then throw a guy like Kyner Quinn, who is just out with them. Who knows what's going to actually happen for each season. Johnstone wins that draw. Barrett brings it around. Cardinals there. Tries to bang it out off the boards, but he can't quite do that. Barrett with it now. That hits a stick. Almost turned over there by the Portage College Voyageurs, but they do get a lucky break, and the Concordia Thunder are going to have to regroup in their own zone. That one gets fired all the way down into the Portage College zone, and now the Thunder take control in the corner. Great stick there by Barrett to knock that cross ice pass away. That could have been a great opportunity there for the Thunder, if not for Barrett with a quick stick. That puck gets fired back in. Campbell with a nice pass there up to Sims. Sims over for Cardinal. Cardinal with a little bit of speed now. He hits Sims. Great save there by Wilson on the point blank shot in front of the net there. Great opportunity for the Voyagers to make it 4 to 1. Yeah, Darren Cardinal's really showing off his speed. Into the Voyagers zone now. Bangor takes control. He works it over for Stephenson. Stephenson up for Jarvis. Jarvis working his way up the ice now. Jarvis into the zone. He makes a nice move there. It goes to the right. Backhand shot there. It goes off the side of the net. And Beaton's in on it now. Parker steals that away. Concordia comes away with the puck there in the corner. Concordia working their way out. That's through the neutral zone in deep. Concordia going off on a full change here, so Stephenson's going to have a lot of time to decide what he wants to do. And he just decides to fire it up. And now Beaton comes away with it. Beaton up for Durwell. Durwell's in deep. He's on the left wing corner. Still got the puck. 
trying to find something to do with it. That one squirts back out for Murdoff, who just dumps it all the way back in. Groom's right on it on the forecheck. He can't quite take the puck away, though. And now the Concordia Thunder are going to work their way back out. 4.20 left remaining here in the third period. Voyager's up 3-1 on the Concordia Thunder. Thunder with it now in the Voyager's zone. Looking to bring it to within one. Battle along the boards with it on the right wing side. Room with it now. Nice pass there. Jerwell comes into the slot. He wires a shot. That goes just high. Thunder forced to regroup here. They've got the puck in behind their own net. Jerwell managed to steal away. He sends it out in front. That one finds Tanner Quinn. Great save there by Wilson. Tanner Quinn had all the time in the world to decide what he wanted to do with that. And Wilson with the great left pad save. You know what, last year I think some fans probably were hoping that R.T. Rice could somehow morph into two people and play out there. This year I think we might actually have something like that as Ruben Gearwell. Absolutely phenomenal how they're just clicking there. Just no look passes, doesn't matter where they're on the ice, they seem to find each other. But then Tanner Quinn again, he's going to be that guy that's going to be a catalyst in some of these games. If you, you need that energy, it's a great shot in that and almost it's a 4-1 game. It's a combination that's been really working for Coach Arnie Kaplan so far. Let's see if he sticks with that. Draws to Wilson's left there, and the Concordia Thunder coming with that one. They flip it over to the neutral zone, and Murdoch blocks that. That one's taken away there by Darian Cardinal. He's got a partial break here. Nice move there by Cardinal. Oh! And Sims misses the wide open net. Wilson came out with the poke check. The puck was just sitting there in the slot. Wide open net for Sims, and he fires it over the top. Phenomenal skill by both players again, though. Now, some slick moves by Cardinal to get in there. Did Darian Cardinal try to drop past that though, or was that actually a poke check? Because it looked like he almost tried to do a little drop pass between the legs to Sims. Don't quote me on it, might be something you have to ask. Hard to tell from yeah. as far away as we are from that end of the ice. Uh, Maybe you're right though. It looked like it looked like Wilson came out for the check though. Yeah, but it was some dirty skill by both players. <laughs> almost worked out. Concordia wins the neutral zone draw here. Warren comes out to play it on the dump. That one works its way out. Now Jarvis is working his way through the neutral zone with some speed. Odd man break here. Here's Parker with the puck. He works it across, across the ice. That one gets knocked away in front of the net. Parker still has the puck, though. He works it, tries to work it across. That gets broken up. Jarvis with it. He works it back out in front. Parker just misses that. Bangor knocks it back into the zone. He holds it out of the blue line. He fires it back in. And Concordia Thunder, are we able to come away with it here? And cleared out of the neutral zone, but it's stolen right back by the Portage College Voyageurs. Looked like Beaton got hauled down there. No call in the play. Now Durwell's up with Groom again. Here comes this combination once more. Durwell up the left side. Works his way all the way around the net. Tries the wraparound play. Wilson just makes it to the other side of his net in time to make that stop. And now we've got some words down here over to Wilson's left. Well, you know what? Building for the regular season. Out their lives, this, that, the other thing. But hey, you also have to remember you can play this team a couple more times throughout the entire year. So you might as well start hating them right now. So that's why you have built some scrimmages. I think, anyways, right? It's a short season, right? Yep. It's got to boil over quick. Exactly. Face offs to Wilson's left. That one's won by the Thunder. Fired out in the neutral zone where Campbell takes control. He does a behind the back pass over for Barrett who works it up for Quinn. Quinn's in the zone now. He works it over. He finds Durwell. Durwell goes for the drop pass. Just missed Groom with it. And now the Thunder working their way back into the Portage College zone. Turned away very easily there by the defense. And that puck just squirts in towards Warren who covers it. And his counterpart Wilson's actually left the net. So it's going to be a 6 on 5. Uh, for the uh, Thunder here, they bring on the extra attacker. With two minutes left, Patrick Waugh takes goalie for there, right? Yeah. Really early. It's not quite a four and a half minutes, no. but uh, definitely still lots of time here for the Portage College Voyagers to ice it. But on the flip side of that, plenty of time. Hey, we've seen two goals happen a lot quicker than two minutes. Well, especially up here in uh, oil country, as they like to call it, the oil have been in a lot of games where you thought they were down and out, and all of a sudden, you know, they came back from. Old to tie it up, so you never know what's going to happen. But this is a different Voyager team than I, I saw last year, even though it's preseason. It's just, there's a lot more speed and skill, it seems like it's really balanced through all the lines. So uh, these guys could be a force to reckon with. 
not even just to make a flash block, but you can push that one way's advantage. I know I'm calling people to be early, but they put really darn good out there. One of the Voyagers' biggest troubles last year was closing out games that they were ahead in. And uh, for the most part so far, it looks like they've locked things down here, so let's see if they can continue to do that for the next two minutes and, and take this one for the team. Face-offs to Warren's right. That's one by the Voyagers. That one actually spurts back out for the Thunder. It's fired back in towards the net. Cleared out of front by Campbell. Barrett, rather. Thunder have it in behind the portage zone. They try to find someone in the slot, but that pass misses. Thunder still with it. Voyager is trying to regain control here, doing a good job keeping everyone to the outside. Johnstone takes it back. He gets tied up a little bit, and Thunder regain control. Thunder have it behind the Portage College net. That one comes out into the slot. Nice play there by Sims with the sticks, knock it out of the end. And now Cardinal tries to knock it away. Thunder turn it back around. They've got a four on three now. That puck hits a stick and goes out of play. One minute, 25 seconds remaining here in the third period. Before you Thunder are going to sit back and uh, Voyagers are not going to be able to really take a, any rest now but the uh, score play so far. Draws one there by the Portage College Voyagers but Concordia Thunder immediately put four men on it. Parker sends it all the way down the ice there. That one whizzed by everyone's face on both benches. You see them all leaning back. It was kind of like dominoes there go, going down the benches, getting out of the way of the puck. I think he had to apologize to his teammates and the opposing team after that one. Was there, but, uh, everyone's there. That one's one. Parker just, oh, can't quite poke it out. Thunder still with it. Parker ties him up. He's going to take a hooking penalty, though. And that is going to send the Concordia Thunder to a two-man advantage. So a six-on-four opportunity coming up for a minute nine in this game. Um, Parker Stick just got tied up there in the opposing player's gloves, and yeah, that is a hooking penalty. That's your opinion on it. I'll keep mine to myself. This could be an interesting finish now for sure. Hey, it's like I always say, it doesn't matter if it's an accident. It still happens. Exactly. Portage gets kicked out of the draw there, not quite sure why Quinn's going to take it now. He loses that, and now the Thunder take control. That's stolen away though by the Voyageurs, and they just knock it back down the ice. That puck's rolling towards the net, but it's not going to make it. One minute left to go here in the third period of play. Voyageurs up 3-1. Thunder up through the neutral zone across the blue line. They're looking for some space here. They move it out in front. Scramble play here in front of the net. They're banging away at it. Looks like Warren was able to cover that one up, and now we've got a little bit of fight in here, in front of the net here. Bangora gets tied up with another player. He took a couple shots to the face. He's, uh, he's pretty heated up. He's oh, he's... Some, he someone said something to him that he did not like. No. Now remember, folks, you can't fight in oh. the ACAC. Oh, uh, that, and now the gloves have dropped. Bangora takes him down. Actually, Bangora didn't drop his gloves. The Thunder player did just drop one of his gloves. So it's going to be interesting to see what comes of this. You gotta wonder what was said down on the ice that has Elsini Bangura all fired up. Yeah, well, that was, uh, that was something. It's close to you to uh, scrap all the ACAC. Bangura getting a little bit of an ovation here from the hometown crowd. Oh, exactly. A couple exactly. hundred out here to watch this game. Yeah. Anytime you step up for your team in any uh, facet of the game, you know, you're gonna get a big cheer from the crowd. And, uh, so far, you know, blocking shots, getting opportunities to score, joining the rush. Heck, I think I thought he was a winger for probably the first 10 minutes of his game. He's up in the so much. But Bangora showing his toughness as well right near the end. Now the referees are over there trying to sort out what the penalties are. If anyone picks up uh, an extra minor with on that, as Bangor was really uh, it talked into the fight by taking two punches to the face. So um, we saw earlier in this game, Concordia come away from a scrum with the uh, extra power play due to some uh, punching in the face too. So we'll see if uh, the refs keep it up. It doesn't look like anyone's headed over to the box right now. Oh no, that is Gary Mendes heading over to the box. 
Courtois just given another penalty here and nothing extra to the Concordia Thunder. That's a little perplexing. Well, my opinions will stay to myself again, but I definitely saw uh, two right hooks get tossed right at the face of Bangor, and uh, he took them, and now he decided to do something about it. And now it's going to be a six on three, what something is? you very rarely see in any level of play. It's like a practice situation right now. Actually, only five out on the ice. Yeah. The referee calling for the sixth player, Concordia only had five out on the ice. Well, that's their fault. They do get kicked out of the draw here. Portage is going to have to do something quick here to get the puck out of the zone. They're down six. It is a legitimate two man advantage here. Yep. If Concordia Thunder have two men out for every man the Portage Falls Warriors have out. And that's a great play there by Carson Johnstone to clear the puck. 30 seconds remaining here. And he's going to go off for a change. He gets tied up in the neutral zone a little bit. Here come the Thunder. 20 seconds left now in the Portage College zone. That one gets broken up again by Jerwell. They get turned away. Doing a great job here on the penalty kill. And now the, Porta or the uh, Thunder dump them back into the Portage College zone. They get tied up in front. Great save there by Warren right out in front. That puck sails in the slot. That puck kicks the leg in front. That goes wide. Three seconds left here. That is going to just about do a one-time shot here from the point, and that is it. The Portage College Voyageurs come away with the 3-1 victory despite being down to three men at the end with the Thunder having six out of their own. Uh, yeah, that was action-packed, and uh, you know what? Player of the game has got to go to Nathan Ward, the former Winkler flyer, showing off why uh, he got called up to this team as he played phenomenally well. I mean, everyone on the Voyager's team played great. Great team, uh, you know, job was uh, Ward there. The last thing he made, he did not see the puck. He just hit him now that's a great call for player of the game my call is going to be ryan groom yeah, he looks fantastic we don't, we don't make the calls ourselves right so i'm getting ahead of myself i, got well, I know so we're excited. just making our little predictions here i guess we'll see what happens ryan groom <laughs> Adam Wielden wins player of the game for the Concordia Thunder in a losing effort. Good game by him, though. You know, he's going to be a good player. <laughs> Called it. Ryan Grew wins player of the game for the Portage College Blazers. Uh, yeah, he played a great game, and uh, it's exciting to see guys like him stepping up. And uh, if you're going to bet on who they choose player of the game next time, don't bet on me. <laughs> hey, even a broken clock is right twice a day. Exactly. No great game there by the Portage College Voyagers. They come away with the 3-1 victory. Yeah, you know what? Uh, Coach Kaplan's got to be happy with that performance. All the new guys, the pieces are starting to fit. Uh, we saw a great goal the performance. Offensively, at first, I was kind of scared, but then you start to see the skill level come out from these guys, and uh, I think this is going to be a season to watch. You know, it's good to have that feeling about your team early. It is preseason, but I think this is a team that's actually going to make some noise in the ACAC this year. And just before we send it back to the Big Dog Studio with Scott Mitchell, just to take a quick moment here to thank our sponsors. Of course, Britain's your independent grocer for sponsoring all the home games, having free admission over here. Next home game is September 24th at 7.30 p.m. against the Stony Plain Eagles Senior AAA team. Yeah, it might be Ryan Smith. Who knows? Who knows? Who I guess we'll see who's here, hey? You guys will have to do some new stuff. Other sponsors we got to uh, thank here are Smiley's, Boston Pizza, and Ramada and Can Alta. And we're going to send it back to the studio here with Scott Mitchell. I've been Luke Muse. Along with me here is Lee Steele. We'll, we'll see or we'll talk to you again here next week.